So basically, the Society 5.0 concept was designed to bring value by solving the real issues of our society. We have a lot of social problems like aging populations and climate change. And those social problems are affecting everyone of us. So the mo most important thing is the human side. Because human suffered from a social problem. Then it is only with a human-centric approach that we can understand how these problems affect people and how people want to see themselves. So that the design thinking is important and also the human-centric approach is effective. I'd like to raise up uh, two examples. One is NEC provides the world's number one biometric technology, combining fingerprint, facial recognition, and iris identification to Adaha at India. Th this is the infrastructure used in India, and uh, this system far advanced than the social security system of an advanced country, such as US and Japan. Another example is the technology of uh, registering and identifying newborn babies with fingerprint identification. I'd like to point out there are 1.1 billion people in the world who don't have legal identity. These people cannot get basic services like medication and vaccination. As a result, 5.6 million children under five years old, including 2.6 million newborn babies, are dying every year. NEC is tackling this problem. I'd like to point out the three factors. The first one is the vision. We must have a clear vision of where we are going and what we want to achieve. This must be a common vision shared by all so that everyone can work together to make it real. The second one is innovation. To achieve the future, we will need new technology and new method of working to achieve a vision. And in this innovation, design thinking is one, is one, one of the most important factors. And the last one is ecosystem. Society 5.0 will not be achieved by one company or by the government only. It will be achieved by each and every stakeholder cooperating and working together. For NEC, this means working with and learning from our customers, our partners, and to build the ecosystem to deliver our combined vision. NEC is tackling to technology challenges such as uh, advanced biometrics, analytics, data security, and quantum technology and also networking technology, not only 5G open radio access network, but also the 6G, including satellite communication. From the solution point of view, our scope are healthcare, robotics, smart city, digital government, digital finance, and so on. So all those technology, as you see, are essential parts for building the next society with our customers and partners. And uh, I'm very, very looking forward to co-working with them. Yeah, that is a very good question. And uh, I think there are a lot of similarity in the two concepts. And uh, both concepts are focused on the end users. And but the customer first approach is built on the Japanese culture of the customer as a king. But the customer first is only focused on the customer itself. But the Society 5.0 has a much more broader meaning. We focus on not only the customers, but also maybe their family or their community. 
and uh, lastly, the wider society itself. So this concept is originated from the Japanese history 500 years ago. We have an old quote, Sanpo Yoshi. This is a kind of the discipline for the good merchant. It means that we should make a best business, which is good from three directions. One is customers, and the other one is yourself. You have to uh, obtain a profit. And lastly, society itself. So combining the three benefits for customers, yourself, and the society itself, that's a good business. Is. Society 5.0 has inherited from such Japanese tradition. And I, I, I feel this approach is pretty much aligned to uh, larger social goals, such as SDGs. Orchestrating a Brighter World, NEC.